Merry Christmas, scrap bosses, and happy holidays. Today I am sharing a holiday layout all about making fancy hot chocolate next on the Victoria Marie YouTube channel. Welcome back to the Victoria Marie YouTube channel where I feature all things scrapbooking and crafting. If that's something you enjoy, click the subscribe button and then click the bell. That way you'll be notified each and every time a new video is posted. So today I'm scrapbooking a quick story about my daughter and I and our love for our fancy hot chocolate. These photos were taken at least four years ago, I think when my daughter was in kindergarten. And one afternoon after a busy day of work in school, we decided to get some fancy hot cocoa fixings, at least for us, some marshmallows, sprinkles, and some other things to make fancy hot chocolate. And that's what we like to call it then at that time. I guess we still like to call it fancy hot chocolate. This was an opportunity for me to use the beautiful goodies from the November Hip Kit Club uh, kit. It is a Christmas themed kit. Unfortunately, it is sold out, so I don't have links for products for this kit. Um, I'm not affiliated with Hip Kit at all. I am just a subscriber and I get their kits every month and I absolutely love them. This kit features 100% exclusive products, I believe, that are designed from Hip Kit Club and they're beautiful. So there's lots of fun wintry and Christmas icons to make really great projects. So I have two photos here that are printed three and a half by five and a half, and I selected that size using the Epson Picture Mate um, or the Epson app on my iPhone. I do have a Picture Mate that I print my photos on, and I like printing my photos a little bit smaller because that gives me some room on the layout. So I took some pattern paper, created, and some white cardstock and created a background with that tree pattern paper on the right hand side cut 6 by 12. Now I am adding in some of these really fun embellishments. Again they're all exclusive to HipKit Club and they're fabulous quality as always. I'm adding in these trees and the little houses and adding a little bit of foam underneath some of the embellishments for added dimension. Now in the photos, I have pictures of two coffee cups that I purchased at Target one year along with our hot cocoa station. And I always have a hot cocoa station set up during the holidays. Um, it looks different this year because we are in our house. This is our second year being in our new home. And when I took these photos, it's been about four years ago, we were in an apartment. But on the island in our apartment, I had a hot cocoa station set up so that we could um, fix our hot cocoa there and have all the ingredients that we needed for our fancy hot chocolates. Now, after creating those, or at least starting the clusters, I make somewhat of a mistake on the layout. I was trying to leave room for the title to go right alongside that bottom photo to the left hand side, but I didn't have enough space there. I didn't position my photos to add enough space for the title. So I'm going to edit my design a little bit. I'm going to put the title underneath the photo and then where the title is, that's where the journaling was going to go. I'm going to put the journaling in that spot right above the title, but also below the little embellishment cluster on the left hand side. And you'll see what I mean here in a second. So HipKit Club offers a scrapbooking kit that includes the pattern papers and um, some embellishments, and they also have a scrapbook kit add-on. I get both of those kits, so I have lots of goodies to choose from. So I'm adding in some chipboard pieces as well as some die cuts. Of course, I had to have a hot cocoa cup there um, to represent the story, and it was just perfect. It came with one of the die cut sets. I'm also adding what looks like a little bonbon to me or some kind of little holiday treat that has a little floral element there on top, little berries. And then I'm gonna switch out the Christmas trees there on that top right side cluster to a chipboard tree. I'm gonna move over. I don't actually think I use that pink Christmas tree. I thought I was gonna add it in to the cluster and at the time I didn't think it looked great. So I'm just fiddling around with the embellishments. I added the little pastry treat there at the top and then the little berries on top of the tree house, or not the tree house, on top of the little house. I'm gonna add a little ornament right by that little chipboard copy, coffee cup just to add a little bit more interest and of course to use up some of these chipboard pieces. And I'm gonna add a little nesting doll there at the front of the little house. It kind of looks like she's coming out of the door and I absolutely love nesting dolls so I think that was perfect. Okay, so now I'm trying to figure out where do I want some wood veneer and I end up not using it because it just didn't look right. So I'm gonna add this label that says yum and I'm gonna fiddle with the position of this. I fiddled a lot with <laughs> these embellishments. You know, sometimes when you're making a layout and you're not quite sure where you want something and you move it around the page, 
finally, you just have to say, make a decision and put it down. And so I did. I layered it right on top of the little house. Okay, so now I have that little space to fill. But before I do that, I felt that the layout on the left-hand side needed a little bit of grounding. So sometimes I like to add little corners to my layout. So I'm going to take some coordinating pattern paper from the kit. I'm going to add some corners there to the left-hand side. Okay. Now here is the journaling. I just simply typed that on my computer and printed it out on vellum. This is one of my favorite ways to add journaling to a layout. If you are not able to print directly on your layout or say for instance you're doing a 12 by 12 layout, maybe you don't have a wide format printer. If you print your journaling on vellum and you're using it against a solid background, it kind of looks like you have typed directly on your background. So there we go, added the drilling right there in that spot. That was a happy little mistake. And I think that the layout turned out wonderful with the layered photos and the clusters. I love the colors. My journaling is there, which is fantastic, talking about our fancy cocoa. And this is another one for the books. I hope you have a fantastic holiday season, whatever holiday or not, <laughs> that you celebrate this time of year. You will see me again here on the YouTube channel sometime next week. I'm going to pop in some recorded videos and we will be back live every Friday in 2021. Have a fantastic holiday and I'll see you real soon.